Hey YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters. So I just wanted to show you guys something. The other day, uh, I was going to work and I was parking my car. And well, I just parked my car and I was walking down the street to go to where I teach in uh, South Brooklyn. And I was walking by this house where they had their trash sitting out. And they had this sitting out there. Let me move my mic cable out of the way. This base. This is a vintage 1981 or thereabouts Area Pro 2 uh, CSB 450. Uh, basically, this is a made in Japan uh, vintage bass guitar. It's got the neck through body. It's really nice, actually. And it was just laying out there. It was covered in dust. Uh, so I saw it and I looked around, you know, I was like, is this really in the trash? You know, just kind of looking around to see if anybody was going to stop me from taking it. Uh, and so I just grabbed it and threw it in the trunk of my car and uh, brought it home. I already wiped it down, cleaned it up. Um, it was just the base. There was no case or anything like that. Not, not that I would expect there to be a free case uh, with a free base like this, um, but here it is. So as you can see, it's missing the low E string, but I picked up some strings and I also ordered a gig bag for it because I'm not about to let this thing sit around, not in a case. Uh, but as you can see there on the back, we have made in Japan. Let's see if you can see that little sticker on the back. Uh, the tuning keys all seem to be in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of paint there on that one, but it doesn't seem to affect it. I turned it and it works okay. Um, I haven't actually plugged it in yet, so I don't know if the electronics are all good, but you know, there's not a whole lot that can go wrong in these, uh, but maybe it does, does have a problem. Maybe that's why they threw it out, but I'm sure it could be fixed. Um, it's just got a tone knob and a volume knob right there. And I picked up some of these strings here. These are silver tone bass strings I got on Amazon for $10. Really cheap. You know, usually I put flat wounds on my bases and I was about to order another set of flat wounds to put on this. But, you know, given that those are $40, I saw these for 10 bucks and I was like, maybe I'll try some round wounds for a change, you know? $10 really, you know, was too cheap to pass up. So I'm gonna check these out and see how they are. I'll show you guys how they sound, you know, just on their own. But then I was thinking about, you know, should I sell it? because I already have two other bases. I have a fretless, it's a rogue fretless, and I have a Donner base that they sent me. Uh, but honestly, you know, none of them are this nice. So I'll probably just keep this one and uh, have this be my main base. It was just laying there on the street. And uh, maybe that's a sign that I should be start, you know, start playing some bass guitar and some of my music again too, because I haven't done that in a while. Everything's been pure synths here for a while. So I saw this and I'm like, huh, maybe I should start playing some bass again. I really like playing bass actually. Anyway, let's throw some strings on this thing and see if it works.
All right, this thing is really awesome. I really like this bass. Um, I thought it sounded great. Um, it was basically just plugged in direct uh, right into the audio interface. It did have a little bit of compression and EQ on it, but that's all. Um, I did have to do a couple of things uh, to make it playable. Uh, one was this tuning key where the low E string was, uh, was a little bit messed up, but it was a really easy fix. And I think that's why the, the E string was missing. And the person who had uh, had this before just you know, they probably just gave up and didn't really try to fix it that much. But anyway, what it was is the little internal gear thingy was coming out and the screw was really loose. So I just had to take a little hammer and pound that back in there and then uh, tighten up the screw. And now it works just fine. Uh, also, I had to uh, tighten the truss rod a couple of turns uh, because the neck was a little bit bowed, uh, probably just from sitting around for so long and not being played. And then I also had to uh, reconnect, or not even connect, but just tighten up the uh, audio jack in the back. Um, I do have the plate. I just haven't put it back, haven't put it back on yet. Um, but that was really easy as well. Like everything was a totally easy fix. I didn't have to buy anything or anything like that, except for the strings. Uh, the strings are good. Uh, I don't think you know they're really any different than any other round wound bass strings I've ever had. Um, so for ten dollars, they're totally worth it. I'll post the link down below if you guys want to pick them up for yourself. And uh, that's all. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I guess this just goes to show that the best things in life are indeed free. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload new content. Con continent. Click the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload new content. And I'll see you guys really soon. Have a great day.